Hey there crafty people I am Anu and welcome to my YouTube channel If you are new here do subscribe and hit the bell icon if you like seeing my craft videos In today's video I am going to show you four different ways to create with these clear baubles from Dress My Craft so let's get started Let's begin with the first project Here I am taking a white card stock and punching it with two wind circle punch from Dress My Craft Now I'm taking the scallop border punch from Dress My Craft and punching it on white cardstock. Now using Dress My Craft paper trimmer, I'm going to trim off this border. Now I'm going to make some cuts all the way till the end. Add glue to the circle and start adhering this border around it as shown. You could also use a scallop circle punch from Dress My Craft but here I showed you this because this way you can customize it with any size of circle. Once it's done now we are going to cover it with glitter. Apply generous amount of glue on it. Spread it around and then sprinkle microfine glitter powder from Dress My Craft and set it aside to dry. Till then it's drying, let's create some poinsettias. This poinsettia flower dies is from Dress My Craft. I took out two small flowers and one small leaf dye. Die cutting flowers on red and leaf on green cardstocks. For die cutting here I am using Easy Cuts machine from Dress My Craft. Now to shape the flowers, first I am going to wet them a little. Now take Dress My Craft embossing foam pad and medium groove golf tool and start shaping. All you need to do is pull the petals inside. and then turn it over and crease it from the center. Let me tell you that I am not an expert in flower making so the steps I am showing you here are just some easy ways to do it. Now once flowers are done, do the same with leaf as well. Now poke holes in the center of the flowers and add pollens. Now 
Here I'm using a piece of wire to hold the pollens. Now secure the flowers with glue and chop off extra thread hanging out. Now let's arrange the flowers on the base we created previously. Use normal glue to adhere these flowers and leaves. I've already made one. It still looks a little incomplete so I decided to add a sentiment here. This is from Christmas Spells Motif Sheet from Just My Craft. Now here I have these clear baubles from Just My Craft. These are 5 cm in size, you get 5 sets in a pack. I took a piece and I am going to adhere this here on top like this using glossy accents. You can create various embellishments like this for your album covers, cards, frames etc. Moving on to the next project, here I am die cutting a flower on green cardstock. Shaping it exactly the same as before. Now punching holes on red cardstock to create tiny cherries. Using tweezers from Dress My Craft to arrange the cherries on leaves. To add the shine I applied glossy accents on the cherries. Now here I'm taking a 2 inch circle, I covered it with glitter and a wreath base that I created using jute cord. Adhere this base here and arrange the cherry leaves on top. Add a sentiment in the center. This is from Christmas Spells Motif Sheet from Dress My Craft. Add the bobble on top using glossy accents and set it aside to dry. Once it's dried, add twine and it's done. For the next project, I created a base similar to first one. I also cut out these pieces for the snowscape. Now I dare this to the bottom as shown.
Here I have this cute Santa cut out from Dress My Craft Christmas Bells motif sheet. I'm gonna add it using foam tapes and then adding a sentiment. Now using glossy accent and glitter to create snow on the background. Now let's make it into a snow globe. Cut a simple base like this, adding it to a brown cardstock. And adhering it behind this. For edges, I cut out some curved borders and red cardstock, adding them with foam tape. And finally to finish it off adhere the bobble with glossy accent and it's done. Later I decided to add frosted sugar powder from Dress My Craft to make it into a shaker and I loved it that way. So you can try it too. Now for the last project, I am taking a set of bobble and here I have some chocolates that I am gonna put inside it. Now because I want to eat these later, I cannot close it with glue. So I decided to add this tape around the bobble. This will keep it closed temporarily. Now to make it a little prettier, let's add a flower to it. It looks lovely, isn't it? So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment and share. I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until next time, happy crafting.